the age-old adage used to be that diesel would never go off. You could store it for over 20 years and it would remain usable. Although in most cases this was true, in reality, fuel actually did need conditioning. If fuel was stored in a stationary tank over a period of time, it would slowly separate into its chemical base layers. However, this didn't pose much of a problem as older engines could run on pretty much anything. As fuel and engine technology has advanced, so have the risks of failure due to contaminated diesel. Modern fuel injection systems operate at pressures in excess of 35,000 psi, as opposed to 15 years ago when injection pressures rarely exceeded 3,000 psi. At high pressures, any microscopic particles can cause accelerated wear to fuel system components. The issue was made more complex in 2011, when markets across the world began blending biodiesel into petrochemical diesel. The current ratio used across Europe is 7% biodiesel to 93% petrochemical diesel, although this is expected to rise in the not too distant future. The current type of biodiesel used is fatty acid methyl ester, or FAME. It was added to reduce the environmental impact of using diesel, and while it has successfully reduced emissions, it has also accelerated the rate in which fuel deteriorates. It's now widely accepted that if stored under normal conditions, diesel will remain in a usable condition for just 6 to 12 months. As it gets older, diesel suffers from three main types of contamination. Water, bacterial growth, or diesel bug, and solid particulates. Biodiesel is hygroscopic, meaning it attracts water. This is the most troublesome contaminant found in diesel. It can corrode engine components, encourage acid buildup, and reduce lubrication. Water can enter a fuel tank in a number of ways, such as the delivery of contaminated diesel from a supplier, condensation collecting inside storage tanks or vessels, rainwater entering through hatches or enclosures, and washdown water through breathers or vents. To meet European fuel standards, diesel must contain no more than 200 parts per million of water. Water is a primary catalyst allowing the formation of diesel bug. Diesel bug is the generic term given to microbial growth in diesel. It occurs when bacteria feeds on the hydrocarbons in the fuel and multiply in the water. As a result, the bug usually grows in the rag layer, the point at which fuel and water meet. As the bug grows, it develops into a planktonic form, eventually appearing as a biofilm. This can get sucked into the engine, causing filters to become blocked and injectors to suffer damage. Fuel filters and injectors can also become blocked or suffer damage as a result of solid particulates. This type of contamination can appear in many forms, including sand and grit from poorly sealed air vents or rust from deteriorating tank surfaces. Fuel injectors are incredibly precise. They use nozzle openings as small as 2 to 3 microns, which is 20 times smaller than a human hair, to deliver a precise quantity of fuel in a well-defined spray pattern. Whilst this delivers great performance, it does leave them at risk of damage from solid particulates such as dust, dirt, rust and traces of metal. The threat of contamination has prompted engine manufacturers to void warranties if damage has been caused by dirty fuel. Equipment failure can be expensive, but to protect against dirty diesel is not. A fuel conditioning program from IPU is the most cost-effective way to keep your fuel clean and dry.